The main job of the heart is to pump oxygenated blood with nutrients through the arteries to the body's tissues and then receive back deoxygenated blood full of waste products through the veins. Now let's zoom in to the left ventricle. There's a moment when the left ventricle is fully relaxed and it occurs at the end of filling or diastole, also called the end diastolic point. And the volume of blood within the left ventricle is called the end diastolic volume and it's about 120 millilitres. Then the left ventricle contracts, forcing blood through the aorta and into the whole arterial system. After that is another moment when the left ventricle is fully contracted. This occurs at the end of contraction or systole, also called the end systolic point, and the volume of blood within the left ventricle is called the end systolic volume, and it's about 50 millilitres. So, End diastolic volume minus end systolic volume gives us the stroke volume, which is the volume of blood that the left ventricle ejects with every heartbeat or stroke. In this case, the stroke volume is 120 minus 50, which equals 70 millilitres. Stroke volume is a useful measurement, but it can vary based on the size of a person. For example, a stroke volume of 50 millilitres might be absolutely fine for a small person with a small heart volume, but may be low for a large person with a bigger heart volume. So another helpful measurement is the ejection fraction, which is the stroke volume divided by the end diastolic volume. In a normal individual, that's 70 divided by 120, or about 58%, but it can fluctuate between 50 and 65% and still be considered normal. In other words, at least half of the blood volume in the left ventricle should get pumped out during each heartbeat. In hearts that have a low contractility, or a low force of contraction, the ejection fraction can fall below 50%. Every minute though, our heart beats many times. The exact number of beats per minute is known as the heart rate, and if we multiply the stroke volume times the heart rate, we'll get the cardiac output, which is the total volume of blood that the left ventricle ejects in one minute. Using the stroke volume of 70 millilitres a beat and a resting heart rate of 70 beats a minute, cardiac output is 4,900 millilitres a minute, or 4.9 litres per minute. Now remember that a normal adult body contains approximately 5 litres of blood. So this means that every last drop of blood travels through the left ventricle at least once every minute. Of course, the heart can adjust its heart rate and the stroke volume based on whether you're sleeping or exercising. In fact, Trained athletes can have a cardiac output that reaches up to 35 litres per minute. The cardiac output flows through the arteries and is distributed to the various organs and tissues to meet their oxygen and nutrient demands. Of all the organs, the liver receives the largest amount of blood flow. The kidneys also get a lot of blood flow, but less than the liver. However, when correcting for the mass of these tissues, the kidney gets much more blood per gram of tissue than any other organ, and this is called tissue perfusion. So, blood flow refers to the total amount of blood volume going someplace like an organ over time, and perfusion refers to the total amount of blood volume going to one gram of tissue over time. Alright, so as a quick recap, stroke volume is the volume of blood that's pumped by the left ventricle in a single heartbeat. The ejection fraction is the percentage of blood that's pumped out of the left ventricle with each heartbeat, and this can serve as a measure of the heart's contractility. And finally, cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped out of the heart in one minute.